You're listening to the English Made Simple show. This is episode number 236, number 236, número 236. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the show. You've come to the right place if you want to improve your English in listening and speaking. This podcast will help you become fluent in English one short conversation at a time. Guys, so this is episode number 236 and my name is Milena and I'm the host of the English Made Simple show and you can find me at englishmadesimple.net, englishmadesimple.net. Hope you guys are doing well, hope you're doing extremely well. That's great to hear. Now, in today's show, we'll uh, learn some survival fra phrases when you catch yourself feeling nervous speaking, especially when you're out speaking in English to a group of people that you've just met. So some strangers, you're speaking to a bunch of strangers. We'll also have a repeat after me segment and uh, towards the end of the show uh, and we might even bring Weon Intelligente to the mix. Awesome. So let's not delay the show any longer. Let us begin. Before we begin today's show, I'd like to say a huge thank you to one special listener called Rafael Oliveira from Brazil who purchased a copy of my teaching notes. I've made the teaching notes available to you guys on my website. You can go to englishmadesimple.net slash podcast and scroll all the way down on that page and you can get one copy for yourself as well. Thanks again, Rafael. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'm sending you a huge shout out. Now, amigos y amigas. So last week, if you remember, I said I was going to a networking event and I was feeling a bit anxious. Yes, I haven't spoken uh, in front of an audience for a long time. Hence me feeling nervous last week. I anticipated that I would actually stutter at some point and I would probably be lost for words. Before the event, I anticipated I'd feel anxious, which would make me forget words or even disrupt my train of thought. Train of thought. Okay, what I mean by this train of thought, it is an expression and it just means sequence of thoughts, okay, or ideas. Right, so, you see, there's something you don't know about me. <laughs> When I'm nervous, I actually suffer from something called verbal diarrhea. <laughs> okay, that's when you have too many words come out at once, <laughs> all at once. Uh, but let's not get into that now because it's not very nice. It's not a very nice thought, okay? Back to today's show, amigos y amigas. I'm going to share three phrases with you. Are you ready? Great. Great to hear that you're ready. Now, imagine you're out at a networking event. Okay. You are me last week. <laughs> so you're socializing with a group of strangers, uh, people you haven't met before, like at a meetup, for example. Some people, you know, thrive in these situations when they meet with strangers and get to know strangers. Um, being surrounded by other people. Uh, these types of people are called extroverts, people who like to be surrounded by other people, okay, uh, to be in social uh, environment. But on the other hand, we have the other kind, the opposite of extroverts, uh, which are called introverts. And they're usually the shy type, the quiet type of people that don't necessarily like to go out and socialize with others. Now, I'm sure there are different definitions for extroverts or introverts. Uh, probably there's somebody listening now and thinking, no, no, there is there is a proper definition, Milena. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I'm sure there is, but this is kind of my summary of these, uh, these two words. I would call myself a semi-introvert. <laughs> That's something in between. Uh, you know, I like my peace and quiet, but I also like to socialize a lot, so... I am a, what I call a semi-introvert. I just made up this word. I don't know if it actually exists. I wonder if it exists at all. Radio. So when you feel stuck and you need to start the conversation again with somebody, 
what do you say okay I'm gonna share some survival phrases with you because that's what the show is about today right let's see today's first phrase you need to know is what is it here we go sorry let me start again sorry let me start again and don't forget to smile of course when you say that uh, basically be honest be humble and say oops I forgot what I wanted to say uh, let me start again this is just a variation to that first phrase sorry let me start again easy peasy right are you ready for the phrase number two now survival phrase number two cool bananas we are ready so your phrase number two is imagine again you're out talking to a group of people it's too noisy it gets a bit loud and you you can't hear the other person that's talking to you so there's somebody talking to you you can't hear them because it's too noisy too loud so what do you say well you say sorry I didn't catch what you said sorry I didn't catch what you said simple here it is again sorry I didn't catch what you said could you please repeat that I didn't catch what you said could you please repeat that we can just add the typical phrase that we should all know by now can you please repeat that or could you please repeat that we should all know this phrase okay amigos y amigas great so can you please repeat that yes I can sorry I didn't catch that that's your phrase number two easy peasy lemon squeezy moving on to phrase number three which is phrase number three hmm, do we even have a phrase number three here it looks like I don't have it today <laughs> so I'm going to give you phrase number four yay the next phrase is let's imagine hmm, someone asks you a question that you weren't prepared for so there's a tricky question something that you couldn't answer straight away so for example someone is trying to be really smart you know they're really smart and trying to be clever and ask a curly question like a tricky question like a complex question okay they're trying to ask you a little bit complex a non-typical question like for example this could be one of the questions people could ask you just for fun if you had any superpowers what would they be so if you had any superpowers like you know Superman for example any superpowers what would those powers be and you're like um, we were just talking about my job uh, and what I'm studying and now you want me to ask this random question hmm you know some people do like to ask really random question so in that case what you would say is well you put me on the spot here uh, let me think about this question a bit let me think about it well you put me on the spot here on the spot so you to put someone on the spot is an expression well you put me on the spot here let me think about it so this expression to put someone on the spot means that you know you didn't have time to prepare for questions like this so you have to come up with an immediate answer uh, but it's obviously hard to come up with something on the spot like straight away and then you have to say something like hmm you put me on the spot you kind of give the uh, indication to the other person that they have asked you a tricky question okay it's not a quick answer question so you say oh well you put me on the spot here let me think about this question for a bit or let me think about it hmm so what's another weird question people could ask you let me see hmm what's the strangest compliment you've ever gotten what's the strangest compliment you've ever gotten you know what a compliment is you know when you compliment somebody and you say oh that's a nice bag or nice shoes uh, you have nice purse I don't know nice watch nice oh that's a good-looking iPhone there <laughs> I don't know 
<laughs> probably not the right compliment for iPhone. For example, I don't own an iPhone, but you know what I mean, you know, that's a cool phone, right here. So, hmm, what is the strangest compliment you've ever gotten? Hmm, you put me on the spot here, let me think about this one for a sec. I don't know about you, but the strangest compliment, amigos y amigas, I have ever gotten was, I walk like a duck. <laughs> I walk like a duck, like this animal duck that lives in the pond, in the park. Just like a duck in the <laughs> park. Okay. Uh, and the last question you could be asked by someone is, um, do you have any podcast suggestions for my commute? So that could be one question people could ask you. Do you have any podcast suggestions for my commute? The word commute is what we use to describe travel from work to home. And, oh, well, the journey from home to work and vice versa. So I commute to work, you know. Uh, that is the word, that is the verb that you can use. So what is the podcast that you would suggest for me for my com commute to work? I'm sure if someone asks you this question, you would instantly say, yes, of course, listen to the English Made Simple podcast. You don't have to pretend that you've been put on the spot. You should just know this question just like that, right? Awesome. And there it is, guys and girls. Today you've learned three phrases that you can start using immediately if you ever happen to be in a situation talking to people, talking to strangers, being at events, being surrounded by people that you don't know very well, okay? And now I'm going to put Juan Inteligente on the spot, okay? And I'm going to ask him to repeat at least one phrase he learned today. Ha <laughs> What is this? Ah, one phrase that I learned in today's episode. Easy peasy Japanese? Ah, you put me on the spot on this and it's too hard. Bye, don't waste my time anymore. Oh wow, that was amazing! Thanks for nothing. Thanks for wasting everyone's time. We're on Inteligente. I hope today's show was helpful, amigos y amigas. Hope you enjoyed today's show. Amigos, if you'd like to keep track of episodes via email, go to englishmadesimple.net and scroll all the way down the page and enter your name and email and you'll start receiving emails from me about recent episodes. And you'll get a little bit of a background as well for each episode. Don't forget to go to englishmadesimple.net slash convo. Convo is short for conversation to get your free audiobook and get access to the three-day mini email course. And also don't forget to join the challenge. You'll get invited to join after you complete the mini course. Again, the link was englishmadesimple.net slash convo to get the audiobook. Thanks for joining me today, amigos y amigas. You've been an amazing audience and you've been jamming with Milena from English Made Simple. Until next time, hasta la próxima. Bye.